evening. This is Margaret with um, Sip and Talk With Me, Talk and Tour, uh, Independent Designer, and um, I am going to be inking some aprons for us today, and um, I'm getting ready for my workshop, and all the aprons are going to have my Talk and Tour logo on them, but I want to show you um, how to ink. I've um, had a lot of experience with talking, but not so much inking, so I'm kind of excited to get that going. Uh, but one thing, let me get my talking to her apron on because I sure do not want to get ink on my shirts because this is permanent ink. It's kind of a little different than the chalk. I was 
use a paper towel to get the ink off my things, my thumb. Well, I got ink on the the shirt, so I don't know. This I know this is permanent. I mean, on the apron. So I'm gonna see if I can't get all this ink off my fingers really quick, so I don't have this problem again. before it dries. There we go. At my age, I need the fan on, but we're going to turn it off for a while. See if that helps. Gosh, I got ink on it all over the place. I don't see any more ink on my fingers. Here we go. Let's try to get this off really quick. There we go. I think, well, okay, I think I got all the ink off. Okay. So with the ink pad, what you need to do is pull off the protective adhesive. And then when you get finished, you're going to attach it back to protect your board. Make sure I'm inking on the right, on the, on the side facing up. I got these aprons on Amazon, so if you're doing some kind of a little birthday party or anything that you would like to do, you could um, buy white ones. They come in white or black. You could buy white ones and do little cupcakes or, or um, put their names on them or something for a little birthday party. That'd be really cute. I'm going to take a stir and stir my ink. And then I have a cup of water here. Actually, it's our chocolate trick colors. A cup of water here. I'm going to drop my ink stir in my cup of water when I get finished stirring it. To hopefully keep, see how creamy that is? Very, very nice. Very nice. There we go. Hopefully I didn't get it on my anything on my fingers. Little spot right there. Okay. Then we're going to put this. We're going to center this. I'm going to center it up to the top because I might be able to put something else down here once in a while. Like you can do this or um, I can or something. Something kind of fun. So you're going to peel off, you're going to start in one corner, but then as you peel, you're going to go all the way across. And to keep from stretching your transfer, you want to peel it from the center. And remember this one, you don't fuzz it on your fuzzing cloth because you want it to um, be really sticky. This only with the chalk. Is when you're going to fuzz it. Okay, that looks pretty well in the center there. I'm going to make sure it's smooth. Make sure I don't have any bubbles in it anywhere. Okay, we're going to do this the same way we do the paste. You're going to start from the, you're going to get some on your, your, this is a small squeegee. Get some on your squeegee and start at the top on the green area. You want to kind of move a little quickly. You're going to go down. I don't think I got enough paste on it. more on here. Well, my first inking project, but 
I think we're going to get it. I know we're going to get it. I try to work a little fast. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm not going to push down, but I'm going to squeegee all this. Make sure I have all the whole area covered. I'm going to squeegee all of it off so it doesn't leave big old lines or anything. And then I'm going to put it back into my container. So we have no waste. So this ink and our paste, they last forever. Okay. I'll set this over here on my lid and set it aside. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you don't want to dry on there, so I'm going to pull it up. And there we go got my chocolate logo on it and I'm going to be using this again so I'm going to set it over here on top of my paper towels just for a minute just for a second till I can move this over and get out get another apron looks like I got a little bit of white on it so I need to get that white off I'm really glad to see that it comes off pretty easy before it dries. This one I kind of would rather it be a little darker. You can kind of see where you can kind of see the black behind it. So I think what I'm going to do this next on this next one, we go ahead and set this one aside. And we'll go ahead and do another one. I'm going to set this over here so my dog doesn't get on it. So just a second, okay? Set it over there to let it dry. Okay. It looks like I got a little bit went through, but that's okay. Okay. So let's try another one. Make sure I get it the right side up. These aprons are kind of thin, so I'm hoping that they'll, you know, they'll work really good for what we need. I don't have any white on my fingers before I get started. It's a little different than chalking. The inking's a little more, it's permanent, so you want to make sure that you don't end up getting it where you don't want it. And don't leave it on where you don't want it. Okay, it looks like I got just a little bit of white on my transfer on underneath it. So I'm going to see if I can't get that off. Oh, yes, it's where it comes off really easy. Okay, there we go. Get another piece over here. I'm going to get that off really easy. There we go, because I don't want it to have black spots where I don't want them. Okay, so here we go again. This one I'm going to try to do all at once. Okay, that's pretty even. I think it's probably far enough down. I did it probably from this seam here, probably just a, maybe a half an inch down, maybe an inch, almost an inch, maybe seven eighths of an inch, it looks like. Okay, it's crooked. If I can get it straightened up a little bit. Okay. 
going to wipe the hair. We're going to wipe the hair. Okay. See if we can do this. See if I can get that off before I start. Okay. Okay, so now I want to make sure there's no, again, there are no um, bubbles in it. And this time I want to hopefully get a better screen of it, screen print of it. I don't want that to dry, so I'm going to go ahead and try to get that off. I'm really glad it comes off easy before it dries. You just don't want to let it dry on there. I was kind of wondering how that was going to work, if it was going to actually do good. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Here we go again. The same thing. I'm going to try up here. I might get a little bit better coverage this time, so I'm going to apply a little bit heavier. Okay, I'm going to try just to go up. Now, I'll just in one stroke. See if I can get all the excess off. And hopefully, like I said, hopefully we have a little bit more coverage this time than I did last time. But if not, it still looks good. I'm not going to worry about it. I'll just do each one. Each one will be unique. Okay. You have to watch out because you stick to the mat. <laughs> So I've got it squeezed off again on my squeegee, and you're like again, you don't want to press down. You just want to squeegee it across, and then we put your excess back into your your jar. And you don't want it to dry on there, so you want to take it off. Oh yes, that looks much better, much 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 better. I like that. Cute, cute. Lay it over on my paper towel again. And I'm going to put this up so Alexis, my dog, does not want to sit on it, want to lay on it. Okay, I'll be right back. I got just a little bit of white on that one, white paint, white ink, as I was moving it. So just a second, let me get that off, and I'll be right back. And we're gonna do another one. We'll just do one more. Okay, here we go. One more. See how fast these go? And how cute it would be for a cupcake birthday party or a how about a chocolate uh, birthday party for, you know, 10, 11 year olds, 12 year olds, 13, 14, 15, any, any age would love this. We should do that. We should do a chocolate birthday party with cupcakes or something. Cute, cute. And it goes so easy and so fast. Okay, got that down. Take my... Make sure I don't have any underneath it. I do have just a little piece right there. Just a little tab of 
white ink, so I want to get that off because I don't want that to dry on there. And Okay, that looks good. Okay. I have to remember, too, that I'm going to have it on my other finger, so before I start trying to lay it down really good, I need to wash my fingers off, wipe them off. Okay, there we go. I get them all placed about the same space from the top. Especially when I do this, I know I'm going to have white on my finger. See? Oh, I even have it on my watch. I need to get that off of there. Wow. I think I'll take it off. I didn't even think about that. Okay. I think I pretty well got it all off. So here we go again. Make sure I've got it here where you can see it. I like them more coverage, so we're going to do it like we did the last one. Put plenty of coverage on here. Go from the top down. And then I'm going to go from the bottom up here, around the edge, around the bottom edge. Don't worry about wasting ink because you're going to squeegee it off and you're going to put it back in your, in your, in your, your little um, container. There we go. So I think I've got that pretty well covered. Make sure you got everything covered. So I'm getting the hang of it here. Okay. Go ahead and squeeze it. Go ahead and wipe that off now. And then, like I said, no pressure. Just wipe across it. There we go. I think this one's going to be my best one so far. Because I think it's not going to have any streaks on it. I'm going to, oops, get some of that off. I'm going to go up right through there. Okay. Now on fabric, you don't have to set it or anything. It's ink, it's going to dry, and it's going to be on there for good. I keep wanting to put my container of ink on my match, and it's sticky. And it's got my mat in today, so I was excited to show this to you. Okay, here we go. Perfect. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. I've got three more to go, but I'm going to let you... Um, let you go. Have fun with your ink. Have fun with your chalk. Message me with any questions. Call me. My number is 479-530-0397. Call me. Um, message me on Facebook. It's SIP. N, like the letter N. Chalk with me. My website is uh, SIP. It's chalkcouture.com. SIP N chalk with me. It's not and, it's just an and. So um, thank you for tuning in and I really appreciate it. So I'm going to bring you back up here to say a few things before we go. So I hope I didn't make you dizzy there or anything. Okay. There we go. I will be at the um, Apple Festival in Lincoln, Arkansas. It's um, October 
the first weekend in October, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and I will um, um, have lots of chocolate turf for you to purchase or um, for you to order transfers, things like that, to make your own. And so I hope you can make it. Like I said, I've got three. Also, I've got three workshops so, set up so far. Right now, it's uh, May the fifth, May the 21st, May the 29th, and one in June. So get your name on those. Um, go to Facebook.com, sip and talk with me, and that's my business page. And get you signed up for those because there's limited quantity. Like. I'm only going to um, have spaces for six people, so um, just um, get signed up before it's too late. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will um, see you next time. Bye-bye.